Fast moving developments from Paris this evening. Word tonight of yet another terror plot there. Stopped before it could be unleashed, and investigators say they were going to target Paris's financial district. Tonight, the eighth attacker still on the run, and there is now an international manhunt at this hour for this man, spotted at a gas station with the alleged eighth attacker. And this evening, ABC News has learned that not only was there another plot for Paris, authorities now telling us there is another sleeper cell of about 10 suspects on the loose right now. ABC's Matt Guppin from Brussels tonight. That Paris attack ringleader, Abdel Hamid Aboud, not only participated in the attacks, shooting up this restaurant, but also French prosecutors saying tonight he and an accomplice planned a suicide attack on La Défense. Paris's Wall Street. That attack planned for November 18th or 19th, the day after SWAT teams cornered him north of Paris. 5,000 bullets fired in this siege, finally killing him. That explosion, a still unidentified suicide bomber. The complicated web of attackers spinning wider tonight. Belgian authorities setting off an international manhunt for this man, Mohamed Abrini who they say was seen at this gas station two nights before the attacks, driving one of the getaway cars. And with him, prosecutors say Salah Abdul Salam, likely the driver of the attackers who blew themselves up during this soccer match. Are you satisfied right now with the amount of information and intelligence that is shared? No, it's, uh, it was a failure. And tonight, Belgium's foreign minister, Didier Renders, telling ABC News there is another cell of about 10 terrorists still on the loose. It's possible to receive a real terrorist attack and with the capacity to do the same, to have suicide bombings in the, in the streets of Brussels. With that high alert in effect through Monday, this is still a city on partial lockdown. And while schools are scheduled to reopen tomorrow, the foreign minister telling us those terrorist cells are likely targeting commercial centers and malls.